In the past 30 days alone, Mr. Beast has given away $190,000 in gaming competitions. That's $6,300 every day. With this new gaming channel, a new question has haunted the minds of gamers all around the world. The question being, how do you win a Mr. Beast gaming event? Only a handful of people in the entire planet know the answer. Obviously, you and I don't. So what are the chances of an average Joe like you winning a Mr. Beast gaming event? About 0.01%. Literally, and that's if you've already joined the Mr. Beast Discord. So what is the one thing you could do to increase your chances of winning? In my deep investigation of Mr. Beast events, I started to notice patterns. Patterns woven in the fabric of each event. I found similarities in all of the winners, I found biases that the moderators had, I even discovered a close kept secret revealed to me by the legendary Boy Jedi himself. A secret that summarizes every Mr. Beast event ever. But before I tell you the secret, let's start by analyzing the patterns. I first put the similarities and patterns into two important factors that contribute most to a victory in a Mr. Beast event. The first factor being the skin you wear. In the skin category, we will be reviewing all the best skins and listing their pros and cons. In the end, we will reveal the best one according to its score on the advantage scale. Number 1, Mr. Beast Merch. This is the most obvious pick, with Mr. Beast being the owner of the channel and the boss of the group, wearing a skin that he loves will give you an insane advantage over the others. In many instances, in many different videos, we see Mr. Beast protecting people with his beloved skin. In one video, the guy with the Mr. Beast skin was even given a free victory, which is just crazy. Although it's great to wear, Mr. Beast skins have actually become very common on the Mr. Beast events, making them less of an advantage. Mr. Beast himself has even come under great criticism for this bias. Because of this, the skin loses points and goes down to a 6 on the advantage scale. This is still pretty high, however, there is another skin that can give you an even greater advantage than the prestigious Mr. Beast skin. So what? Is it? Number 2, the anime skin. A less obvious bias Mr. Beast has is with anime. Mr. Beast and Chris have both shown a love for anime in their recent videos. Chris always seems to recognize skins that are based on characters from prominent anime shows, and Mr. Beast himself has even mentioned that people with cute anime skins are allowed to stay alive. In fact, choosing a cute anime skin might just be an even better choice than wearing Mr. Beast merch. Mr. Beast has already stated that anime skins will be allowed to live, and they are not a very common skin in the events, so they score with an 8 on the advantage scale. But is there something better? How about the ultimate skin? Well, you've waited a long time for the answer, so here it is. Number 3, the combo skin. There are many other skins that could give you small advantages over players, such as the cat skin which Carl really loves, but these two are by far the best. Knowing that these two are the best skins you can wear to a Mr. Beast event, what can we do to combine their power? I have come up with the absolute best skin to wear to a Mr. Beast event. An anime character wearing Mr. Beast merch. Imagine that. Combining Mr. Beast's merch with his love for anime would combine the powers of the two skins. In addition, it is a unique skin. Not many people have realized this yet, so there are not that many anime Beast merch skins during events. This gives you an even greater advantage over other players, giving it a 9 on the advantage scale. In conclusion, the best skin to wear at a Mr. Beast event is a cute anime character wearing Mr. Beast merch because of its uniqueness and clear bias over Mr. Beast and Chris. Category number two, strategies. There are three different strategies that can benefit you during a Mr. Beast game, all of which you can dynamically change in the game. There will be no scoring since each strategy should be used in different situations. Let's begin. Number one, being aggressive. Now there's not much to say about the strategy, it's simple. Sword go swing swing, game end other person. This strategy is simply to kill as many people as you can for no reason. Mr. Beast usually notices when there are rampaging monsters in his challenges, and he likes that because it gives contents to his videos. He usually rewards these types of players. Two really good targets for your killing spree would be Carl and Chandler, because killing them would surely get Mr. Beast's attention, making it more likely that you get a reward. So basically, just kill as many people as you can. Strategy number two, teaming with the crew. Now, if you aren't the swinging my sword type of person, instead of slaughtering people, team with them. Usually, teaming with people can give you better loot and keep you protected. This strategy has three steps. Team with people, protect each other, then kill them at the end of the challenge. It's really simple. 
two really good people to team with once again are Carl and Chandler. Usually after they die, they become game moderators, and if you survive long enough, they'll probably end up helping you. This happened with Big C, and he ended up winning a challenge easily. Strategy number three, following the moderators. Mr. Beast and Chris usually fly around the map dropping amazing loot. Follow them around. This is a great strategy for hoarding all the best loot in the map, in turn giving you a much greater chance of winning. If you are lucky, you might even become their favorite player. However, if it is the type of challenge where Mr. Beast and Chris are supposed to be slaughtering players, I suggest you get away from them. So those are our three strategies, being aggressive, teaming, and following the moderators. You can easily switch between these strategies multiple times within Mr. Beast challenges. Use this collection wisely. Now that we are done reviewing the list of strategies you could do to increase your chances, it is time to reveal the tip that the legendary Boy Jedi himself revealed to me. A tip that shows Boy Jedi's true wisdom. In a search for knowledge, I asked Boy Jedi what he would tell a young Padawan seeking to win the Mr. Beast gaming events. He wisely told me, expect anything to happen. It might not seem like much, but with these few words, Boy Jedi summarized every Mr. Beast event ever. Literally. Let me explain. Mr. Beast is not a professional in the Minecraft craft. He doesn't want his events to be clean and orderly, he wants there to be chaos. That's why there are always huge walls of lava, and exploding snowballs, and crazy TNT. Mr. Beast's events are randomly chaotic. Being predictive and flexible with what is about to happen is vital to surviving a Mr. Beast event. That is why I provided you with three different strategies. You must be able to switch between them quickly according to what is happening during the event. Because there is no one strategy to winning a Mr. Beast event. It is a combination of all of them. It is constantly observing and analyzing what is happening, then changing your strategy based on that. It is being a contortionist in the ways of Minecraft. From the wisdom of Boy Jedi himself, expect anything to happen. Just finished editing this video. Subscribe. Thank you for watching until the end. Bye.